is crazy on the rain again. Let me open the window and show you. Look at the garden beds. We've gotten over three quarters of an inch in less than a half an hour. Let's get down. Can you see the road? It's a water bar I put in. It's hitting the water bar, going into the brook across the street, and someone's actually overflowing the water bar and going down the road to the next one. It's crazy. Look at the water bed. Look at that corner. Water bed. It's not a water bed, it's a garden bed. But it's full of water right now. That's nuts. And there's the rain gauge. On the flip side, one good thing about getting all this water is we can see where the outdoor kitchen is going to go and if it's going to get water in it. And look, the water comes down the driveway, hits the front of the pad area, and then washes down. So our concrete slab is going to be another 8 inches, so we won't ever have to worry about getting water inside of our outdoor kitchen. So always look for the bright side. What's up, modern steaders? We got like an inch and a half of rain last night. In the last couple of days, we've gotten three and a half inches. It's crazy. We're gonna plant our squash and some of our hay bales. What we did, luckily, last night before we started getting the rain, we made our greenhouse again to keep all the water off of them. These guys surely would've been flooded out. They're a little flooded out from all the rain we got during the week. What are you doing? Here. Look at the pigs, they're loving the little mud hole right there. Are those your good pants? Yeah, I gotta go change. I gotta go change right now. I know, I gotta go do it. Start it up and curl the bucket in. Two more bales? Let's get two more bales of hay, we'll put one here, we'll put one there. And then I want to get a small bucket load of loom, and then we'll bring over some plant starch. What are we doing with loom? We're just going to put a little bit of loom in each hole with the plant. Why? Just to try it. Okay. Look at that worm. Oh my goodness, that is huge. That's a nice night crawler. And look at all these. Oh my goodness, fish in here we come. What's that? Fish in here we come. I know, we need to do hay bale. Look at these slugs, and they're real. This is really a slug. This time, there's a big night crawler that I missed. More worms, there's a whole bunch of worms over here. We'll give them to the chickens. Thank you. Look at all these slugs. Look, before they get away. They're trying to get away. Look how fast they're moving. Oh boy, they're speedy. Big night crawl is trying to get away into the hay bale. Look at that, he's in the hay bale. Oh. <clears throat> Come on. Come out. Ugh, gotcha. Hey ducks, I got a present for you. Come here guys. Got some worms. Oh gobble that baby up. Oh yeah, get him. Get him. Oh yeah. They ain't messing around. There you go. Woohoo! Now we need the ducks to eat the slugs. 
because chickens don't eat slugs. Yeah, they're going for it. Oh, you got that one. Woohoo! Them guys are just crazy. It didn't even take them 30 seconds to eat all them things. Never have too many zucchini. Hope not. That's so they're really wet. What's that? Those have a lot of water in them. Yeah, I don't want to be splashed with that. Zucchini, summer squash, pumpkins, summer squash. summer squash. And then give me one more scoop, and we'll put the summer squash. Okay. Alright, they're so well rooted up, they're like grown together. Yeah. They smell good too. Look at that, they're getting ready to flower out. Awesome. I don't know with all the wet if they would be ruined. Okay, Libby. Give me some soil right there. I'm going to do a couple of scoops. Okay, give me another one. You're going to do it a little deeper, don't you? No. It's going to be right there. With the potatoes you had. Oh, it looks so pretty. <coughs> Heavy? <laughs> no, it's just hard to get out. Oh. You like that shovel? Mm -hmm. Now these are starting to turn yellow from too much water. How do you know when yellow is too much water? Or... Do you water pluck the, the yellow off? No, they'll be fine. They'll recoup. Awesome. Do you think it's break time? Huh? Do you think it's break time? What a life. Aww. Nice one. Look at all the roots. That's a lot of roots. I like cracking my stomach. And it's got flowers going to start. Yeah, look, it's going to start. It'll start producing shortly. Here, come on the back side right here. Okay. Perfect. Now we'll do the next video. You want to see the right there? Okay. I'm doing it. No, I'm doing it. I. Well, if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, we tried it out. So we just can't lose them. These soil blocks work awesome. Look at that. Look at all the roots. I mean, that plant is ready to go. It's already starting to get buds on it. We're going to have fruit from this thing before you know it.
she had been storing these leaves here until we needed them. <laughs> I knew right where they were. See, that was one of the bod rock roosters learning how to crow. It's funny. We've got roosters all over the place learning. Our neighbors are gonna love us. Where'd you just come from? Huh? Where'd you just come from? Where'd you leave Lizzie's? I think I left some more over here. Let's go get Oh, them. you left some more over right there? I left them. That's where they're waiting for me. Look at all those leaves you've been storing. Savings account. <laughs> Grow my potatoes. I knew I was going to need them. The dog go behind there somewhere. There she is. I said, I think the dog went behind there somewhere. Crazy guy. Water. And this will be our last time messing with the potatoes. Why? Because they got enough. From what all the subscribers said, the kind of potato we planted isn't going to keep growing high. They only need about eight inches of soil, or medium, to grow in to produce potatoes. And I believe they have that. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a fun one. It'll be interesting to see where the squash plants do better, if they do better where the pigs were last year, or in the spent hay from the winter chicken coop we had in, the, in there. So if you guys liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Love the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah.